What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You don't have to be an old bag to use a bag. And I picked up this bag. It looks pretty cool here. It's by East Hills Outdoors, and it comes in this nylon stuff sack with a drawstring. So really light. It actually looks like it's pretty big, but it's super, super light. And I just want to show you this to you because I think this is maybe one of the most versatile bags for your summer trips. Um, this bag here, as you can see, is really modern looking. It does come in a couple color, and that's why I ordered this particular one, but it's like a giant tote. It's probably about two feet tall here with a big nylon handle. It's got a handle here with Velcro on it to grip around. So you, even if you have a lot of stuff in here, heavy weight, it's gonna be nice and comfortable. Everything about it is nice and robust. It's really a stiff nylon everywhere. What you can see up here on the top is that we have like a mesh side here, almost like Jersey mesh material. And that's gonna let this top pocket here vent. So even if you're carrying stuff in here, you don't have to worry about it getting too stuffy, maybe even too hot in the sun. And then you have a nylon on the front and back, a really robust, it's almost like a Cordura. On the front here, you also have a pocket which you can put things that you need to quick access. And then on the top, you have a zipper that goes all the way across the top here. So if I open this sucker up just like that, what you can see is you have a big pocket right up here. And again, this is for all the things like picnic blankets, silverware, uh, even food or water bottles. Now, I also wanna show you inside here, I didn't notice, we have a little flap here and that's another zippered pouch. You have a little metal D-ring right here so you can clip keys or something like that. And then you can put other things in here, especially if you need a wallet, passport, your keys, your cell phone, something like that, you're using it. Um, the, that is about, it's called two thirds of the backpack tote bag here. And on the bottom, what we have is you can see here, kind of a rubberized insulated bottom portion. And this bottom one third is where it's really, really cool. I would assume that this is almost airtight, watertight, but what you can put in here are, it looks like it's gonna be tall enough for uh, soda bottles or pop bottles, pop cans, I should say. You put a lot in there, anything you need to keep cold, you know, put ice in here, uh, those um, ice packs, what have you, sandwiches, all that. And the really cool thing about this, it has a zipper that goes all the way around and the other nice thing is it's a dual zipper with really long nylon tags on them. Is that because, you know, your drinks and those cold things like ice and water are usually heavier, you've got that all at the bottom here in a nice structure. So you can see beautiful nylon, heavy nylon all the way around. And then like I said, insulated. So that's gonna create nice weight on the bottom to keep this upright. You know, when you go to the park, when you go to um, your concert in the park or what have you. Now, the beach. Now, probably one of the best things about this is the back here. And I kind of revealed it already by calling it a tote backpack. But you can see we have two regular backpack straps on it. Nice nylon on the front. And then again, padded and then like a jersey mesh material on the inside. So that'll help breathe. And they are adjustable, just like uh, any kind of normal day pack. If I go ahead and throw it on here, I'm on my big frame, I can tighten this down. What an easy way to carry this sucker, you know, from your car to the beach, to the park, whatever. And so you could use this absolutely as a day pack, but then again, the, the big benefit of beyond just the day pack is this insulated bottom portion with it has a rigid like uh, wall to it. So it's really gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to using this this, this summer. Certainly off of, glad that I discovered it. Again, you know, it's not meant to be like an everyday day pack. It's really just meant to be something that you can use without having to put a cooler inside another backpack, those types of things. So I think it's really great. It serves a lot of purposes and it's not expensive. So you can pick up something like this for your summer spring travels here. And I think you're gonna really love it. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.